Here's the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for June 2013. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. The average global land and ocean temperature for June tied with 2006 as the fifth warmest June since records began in 1880. Alaska saw its third warmest June since records began in 1918, while the western U.S. experienced drought from January 2013 through June 2013. California reported its driest year-to-date period on record. Tropical Storm Andrea made landfall along Florida's Gulf Coast on June 6, 2013. With maximum winds at 62 miles per hour, the storm caused minor storm surge, heavy rainfall, and tornadoes. Meanwhile, Spain had its coolest June since 1997. Also, Norway experienced its fourth wettest June since national records began in 1900. Due to the monsoon, northern India as well as Nepal experienced heavy rains that contributed to floods and landslides. These natural disasters resulted in over 5,000 fatalities. Now we'll turn to the Arctic sea ice extent. The June sea ice extent for the Arctic was 2.6 percent below the 1981 to 2010 average. This makes it the 11th smallest ice extent on record for the month of June. Finally, we'll move to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent for June was 5.2 percent above the 1981 to 2010 average, making it the third largest June ice extent on record. This real-time dataset is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures, whereas red colors indicate warmer than normal temperatures. White indicates near average conditions. First, we can see the deep blue colors over Spain as well as Central Asia and India, indicating below average temperatures throughout June 2013. Spain experienced its coldest June since 1997 with temperatures as much as 4 degrees Fahrenheit below average. Red portions of the map highlight several regions around the world that experienced above average warmth. These areas include Alaska, Northern Canada, the Western United States, Australia, and Northwestern Russia. In fact, Australia's June 2013 minimum temperature was the ninth highest minimum since records began in 1910. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. In the Atlantic Ocean, temperatures were near average to warmer than average helping make this area conducive for hurricane formation. In the eastern tropical Pacific, water temperatures hovered around average, meaning that no El Nino or La Nina conditions were present. The Climate Prediction Center expects this to continue through at least the northern hemisphere fall. Now, take a look at some of the ocean temperature differences around the world. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. And that's your June 2013 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.